Asterix, Obelix, and Dogmatics prepare to scale the steep hills of the Viking territory as they approach the end of their journey. Here, little Freddy Cats! Let me at him! Let me at him! Get over here, you! Oh no, he's running away again. This has to be at least the 43rd time he's done this. It's starting to get on my nerves.
That's the 44th time he's got away. Aren't you cozy like that? He's flying away. Must mean rain. I think we can infer that this picking hydrangeas has come up with a devilish plan to overthrow Rome. It's not just a simple wave of thefts. Mm. Master picking hydrangeas. I have it. I have the Aquila. Aha. Perfect. Caesar will be put to shame and will lose his support in the Senate. I have nothing left to do but to save Rome from a Viking invasion, and then I will be appointed as the new emperor. Yes, master. <laughs> I was stripped of my duties as senator for reasons of high treason, but who will suffer such bitter regret now? Uh, the other senators, master. Bravo, my stalwart friend. I was certain that fool Clover Garlics would fail in his mission. Now, return to Rome and be at the ready. Oh, uh, yes, master. <laughs> Don't celebrate too quickly, Roman. We need that Aquila to clear our friend's name. And his son. Not another step, whoever you are. Or I'll throw the artifact into this bottomless chasm. I don't think so. You've done well to follow me here, but you'll never take me. Oh! 
Enough! I'm taking you with me! Help! The ground is falling beneath my feet! No! Oh, I fear all may be lost, Obelix. Yes, Double Helix will stay in prison forever. <laughs> oh, look, Asterix! What? <laughs> Save me by Juno! <laughs> How ironic. Saved by the very Aquila he had sworn to destroy. Come on, let's go. I'm starving. The Aquila recovered. Our friends return to Letitia to give the eagle back to Julius Caesar. The Aquila recovered. Our friends return to Letitia to give the eagle back to Julius Caesar. Gauls? You have saved the Roman Empire. Without this Aquila, I would have lost all honor. Never mind that, Julius. We wish only for you to exonerate Double Helix and just for kicks. Granted. As for picking Hydrangeus, in light of your treachery, I will honor you with a place in the next games. What place? The very best, with the best view, at the very center of the arena! Mercy, no! Noble Caesar, not those ravenous, starving lions! <laughs> Good. Let's go home, Asterix. The whole village is probably getting impatient by now. Back in the village... Just for kicks! My son! I feared I would never see you again! Oh, yeah! Asterix, Obelix! Thanks for clearing my dad's name and freeing him! Think nothing of it. Yes, just the usual routine, you know. Well, how was Lutetia? Just as crowded as ever. From top to bottom. Oh, that brings to mind a song! Under the skies of Lutetia! Oh, no! You are not going to ruin this reunion! Balls on, children! The meal is ready! <laughs> Centurion. I attended the Olympic Games and saw not a single one of our athletes. What is the meaning of this? Uh, well, uh, Augustus Caesar? Well, that is... Yes? They, um... Well, no athlete made it to Olympia. Go on. Yes, um... Several were injured in the arenas of Lutetia, and the others sort of lost their galley, so, um... How is that possible? Oh, the next time we will simply have the games brought to us. It will be simpler that way. Do we have any idea who did this? Yes, um... It would appear it was the doing of two Gauls and a small dog. What? 